Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Survivalistas, surviving in the 2020s. Today, we're going to be making something really special. We're going to be making Soylent Green. Soylent Green, its recipe has been kept secret, but today I'm going to show you what it really contains. So, first we have some of your basics. We have your nutrient supplements. We have some vitamin supplements. We have antibiotics. Some fatty oils. Some flavorings. The so-called famous algae. And of course, soil and greens main ingredient. So what exactly is soil and greens main ingredient? Soil and green is known for its high protein value. And the protein from soil and green comes from, you know, people. Now, you might think it's hard to find people, but we live in a city of 40 million, so finding people isn't very difficult. It's finding the right person, which is. Humans are incredibly toxic beings. For example, the human kidney, best found in specimens between the ages of 5 and 11 year olds, where it is mature but not yet toxic. You want to pay attention for signs of kidney failure because kidneys are the filtration system of the blood. They do contain lots of heavy metals, chlorofluorochlorides. Also, they also contain the toxic carbons that are in today's air and are, would not longer be edible. Why you do want to eat a kidney is because they're very high in nutrients and also essential minerals that the body needs. Moving on, human flesh. Now, with human flesh, what you want to look out for is the fat. The fat in human flesh still contains DDT, which was used in the 1970s. So, you don't want to eat any more DDT than you already have in your own body. Okay, the first step in preparing soil and green. What you want to do after you find your specimen and you select the organs and parts that you do want to use is you want to make sure you separate all the meat from the fat and especially the bone as well. I find it's easier if you are preparing human meat to try and prepare it in such a way where it no longer looks like a person so you don't have to deal with the moral issues. So, here you go, you got your lean meat here. Now some liver. In the movie Soil and Green, they used the meat of people who went to government-aided uh, suicide clinics or euthanasia clinics. Now, I'd strongly recommend that because you're just basically eating the meat of a depressed person and, you know, things are already pretty depressing. So, I find it's really easier if you find the meat of someone who actually is willing to live. I think that definitely gets incorporated into the dish. So, here's our meat mixture here. All kind of cubed and chopped up. Pretty much unidentifiable at this point of, you know, its source. Now what we're going to do is we're going to puree it. Now I have um, this attached to my generator and we're just going to run it. Now that the meat is pretty well mixed, one second. All right. Now that we have the meat all mixed up like this, we're about to add some of the other ingredients. We're going to add some aromas so it doesn't really taste like meat anymore. So we have here just a little basic um, neutralizing aroma 
and some plant aroma. So it tastes like veggies instead of meat. A little salt, it's easy to come by. Some baking soda. Baking powder, a little bit of vinegar, vitamin C, which is important when we used to eat fruits and veggies, and some happy pills. So you don't have to think about what you're eating. Some food coloring, it's colorant green, it's green, and of course your algae. Not everything the chemical companies tells us is a lie. There is algae in soy green. Now what you want to simply do is mix it up. You simply mix up all the ingredients here. So, what you want to do is heat up your pan on your hot plate. And here I have just some basically some good old fashioned petroleum based oil. I'm going to add that to the pan. When the oil's good and hot, you can start to add your mixture. There we go, nice and hot now. Just stir it up a little bit. Get yourself a nice bite-sized bit. There we go. Just simply add it to the mixture. Here we go, get some more. There we go. These are looking just about done. Simply take them off the pan onto a plate. It's to be algae like that. And the actual algae that and plankton that we've actually come to believe it is. Nice little coating. Like that. You just want to simply make sure it gets all coated. This finished soil in here is about to sit for about 12 hours. In the next 12 hours, it is going to rise to, in size. It's going to expand a little bit as the chemicals break down. And um, it's going to become a little bit more orange instead of brown in color. So just let it sit for about 12 hours. And then in about 12 hours, you can cut it into whatever kind of friendly form you like. Now, I have here, being it is the magic of television, a fresh batch that I cooked the other day. Let me try a little bit for you. It's really crispy now. If you eat it like in this stage, it's fine. But I think the crispiness really helps with the whole concept of that it's human. Because now it just kind of tastes like a chip. Alright ladies and gentlemen, I hope you take this recipe home. Try it for yourself. All the ingredients are listed on the website. And um, I hope you enjoy making your own soil and green. It'll save you a lot of time. No more waiting in those really long ration lines and some money. And you know, I always think things that you make yourself just taste so much better. So please join me next week when I show you how to distill your own urine into drinkable water. All right, have a great week.